welcome to the Global Fashion Workshop channel. Our course, A Sheath Dress with a Dolman Sleeve in 10 Days, is completed. And we've made a course, How to Make a Basic Dress. I present to you my author's course, Basic Sheath Dress. You'll learn how to make the pieces of the dress and the lining, learn how to make a set in sleeve, how to attach the lining to the garment, and to make the dress look perfect. Our training course consists of 17 lessons. Register by the link down below this video. Don't be afraid. You will succeed because we will be with you all the time. We'll be happy to see you at our online course. Hello and welcome to the Global Fashion Workshop channel. I remind you that we release a new video three times a week. Today we review a finished garment. I want to show you a skirt we worked hard on in our club. It's the Fashion Workshop Club with paid membership where we teach you sewing, review different garments and explain how to make them and show you our master classes. We've already released more than a hundred videos on different topics. Join us if you haven't yet. The membership costs $4.99 and it gives you access to all previously uploaded video. Also, you'll be able to show off your works in the chat. This was a little introduction to our Global Fashion Workshop Club. For those who want to learn more about it and join us, the link will be in the description. Now let's move on to reviewing my favorite corduroy skirt. I didn't think I would love it so much. As soon as I put it on, I realized how perfect it is. I'll turn around a bit so you see how pretty it looks. With a skirt like this, I can show up to any event and all eyes will be on me. We had two types of designing for this skirt in our club. The first was for slimmer body type. The other one was for those who have a little bit of a belly like I do. I look like a thumbelina right now thanks to the wide corset belt that makes my figure look more fit. That's why this skirt makes me look so good, it's hard to deny it. Look at the waist, I really feel like a princess. And it's very comfortable, it's sewn according to recommendations, it fits me just right. An important moment is deciding the width of the belt. I explain it in detail how to do it in the video where we designed the skirt. I want to discuss the silhouette of this skirt. It's a high-waisted skirt with corset belt. It was a bit higher, but I lost some weight while it was in making. At first it was intended to be a bit higher than the belly button by about 2-3 to three centimeters. A wide corset belt. It's a straight skirt. The bottom is asymmetrical. It was a slit that makes the skirt look not straight and not flared, uh, something in the middle. The slit makes its silhouette very peculiar. The fabric is corduroy. We have different colors of corduroy in our shop. This fabric is beautiful and rather thick. And of course, the slit makes the skirt look lively. Thanks to it, the skirt has a spark. Though corduroy is a fabric more suited for autumn and winter clothing, this skirt has its very own feeling to it. We started with designing. We showed how to get the fabric ready for sewing, pressing and steaming, how to work with corduroy, how to cut, baste and fit. Margarita and I had sewn in the boning uh, in the belt part right on there. I'll show you the details of this skirt on the table. Of course, I can't show you the boning. I'll just tell you about it. We also had a special masterclass dedicated to making a complex pocket made partially with eco leather that we have. Look, it's not just for show. Of course, you can't put anything heavy here, but at least some trinkets can be placed here, or you can put your hand in it. I remember Margarita asking who came up with this pocket when we were filming. It's all thanks to our girls, Natasha and Irina, who came up with the idea. 
What else can be said about this card? Here we have belt loops, as you can see. They are made from eco leather. The mini belt is from eco leather too. All decorative elements such as buttons, belt, fastener, zipper, it's all the same colored metallic. Now I'll show you the back and you'll see how beautifully the zipper is sewn and how it adorns the back. We had a masterclass dedicated to sewing in the decorative zipper in the skirt. I'll show off a bit more. Any pair of shoes suits this skirt. We're also making a two-sided jacket. It's going to be bright green on one side and the other side is corduroy. And for that look I bought myself bright green boots. And it'll be entirely different look. You'll see it when we review this two-sided jacket or two-sided coat. And on top of that we have this turtleneck. It has a one-piece neckline stand. Sewn in sleeve with a partially removed dart. This too was made by the Paukstis fashion house. I can talk endlessly about this skirt, it's wonderful, but it's time to move to the table and discuss the skirt in more detail. I want you to notice the fabric in our fabric shop. We have a lot of colors. That's the one I have. I call it berry. A brick red color. Here we have thin wool. I think a shirt made from one of these will look great. It'll be a completely different style, more chic. You can sew a very beautiful shirt with this thin wool. Here's the beige corduroy. I think it's classics. Very beautiful. Or the latte color. You know, everyone has their own view on colors. And green corduroy looks very beautiful too, of course. And this thin wool, soon we will make a dress from thin wool. Though it's not winter, dresses are always needed. Let's look at the garments on the table. I decided to also show you this turtleneck. These days you can buy some affordable knitwear. This is woolen knitwear. We bought it on the shop on sale and made this turtleneck. Usually when I try to buy clothes in stores, the price is too high. The quality of the fabric is horrible and it suits horribly. And this fabric wasn't much more than $10 for a meter. So now I have a self-made turtleneck for the price of about $10. See how warm it is. The bottom of the sleeves and the bottom of the garment were sewn using a cover stitch machine and the rest was done using overlock. The bust start was removed even though my bust isn't small. But despite the size of the bust, it fits perfectly. Of course, this neck always looks good on winter clothing. So I advise you to make some colorful turtle necks for winter. Of course, the start of our today's video is the corduroy skirt. It's just perfect. It happens sometimes that we need to make something for someone. In these cases, I think, well, they'll make it and they'll leave it in the closet and I won't wear it. But this skirt isn't the case, I'll definitely wear it. I think if I don't wear it, it can only be because it's too good. It's done perfectly. I suggest to admire this pocket. How wonderful! Look, I even have a ring almost the color of the metal on it, but it's artificially aged. It's all perfect, the pocket too. We did it in a video with Margarita. You see the pocket? It has a frame, a piping from artificial leather, a half belt. Half belt ends beautifully in a triangle and it has a flap. See, it's a perfect pocket. By the way, no one in our club has sent photos of the pocket. I wonder, is it that they didn't do it? If you did it, please send pictures, we want to see it. Here we have a style line that turns into a slit. And now I'll show you the belt separately in detail. That's how the back looks, the darts here. We've left all of them. 
Since skirt like this have many complicated details, we've chosen a buckle in a form of crescent moon. I'll show it to you. It's so that it doesn't have a prong and we don't need to pierce any holes in the belt. These buckles are very convenient. Keep that in mind. You can buy it anywhere. It's easily sewn. Now I'll take it off the belt so to show you the corset. And the zipper on the back. How it is sewn in to make it convenient. Here's the belt. It's too made from artificial leather, turned inside out and stitched. Here's the buckle is attached. I'll put that aside for now. That's the most interesting part, the corset. Look, there's bone in everywhere. For half of it, we have one, two, three, four, five pieces of boning. Five pieces of boning that make the figure look slim. And they also secure the skirt on, in place, but it's very comfortable, no pressure anywhere. And the same on the other side. Here we have two vents. Because we have bone in here, it's important that the vents are sewn in between the boning, or else you won't be able to do it. And so these parts don't interfere with each other. That's why we didn't use the classic method when the vents is on the center back, where we have zipper and on the side seams. We have two vents here and there. They're decorative and I don't make the garment look like it's too much. It's very important too, because the vents create additional thickness and of course they can't be sewn to the boning. I pull down the zipper, I'll turn it to myself, I pull down the zipper, it's made uh, so that the zipper doesn't cling to anything, doesn't create problems. Though it's too soft, still we decided to make the visible part here smooth, so the skirt uh, in the inside is smooth as a whole and we can wear anything inside and the zipper won't ruin it. In case I want to wear a silk blouse or a loose woolen top, the zipper won't ruin it. Now I'll turn it inside out and show you how the wrong side of the skirt looks. That's how neat it looks on the wrong side. Here we have the visible part of the central back. As you can see, there is a back stitch so it won't turn to the other side. Here we have a buttonhole and a little hidden button. Unfortunately, I cannot show you the boning inside it. But the members of our club have seen it. They are sewing together with us. These who will join the club will be able to see it too. A beautiful skirt. It's very neatly done. The stitches are finished using the overlock machine. And the hemline on the front. I'll tell you about finishing the hemline. There are many little details to it. For all the straight lines, we have a simple straight hemline. That's two halves of the back and this part of the front. We have a symmetrical front here. And for it, I wanted to make the line curvy. It's not a straight line, you see, right? It's semi-circle. It has a curve. That's why we have a bit of facing here. And the second part is sewn too already, but with blind stitches. So no stitches can be seen. Well, the whole bottom is done with blind stitches. And the curve here too adds to the charm of the skirt. Simply draw a line with a ruler, fold it, stitches is one thing. Adding these details making such a magnificent skirt is another.
Of course, it takes a lot of time and effort, but the result is astonishing. Perhaps it's obvious by the look of it how much effort it has taken. Still, even with so many small details, the skirt doesn't feel like it's overloaded. Of course, it's better to combine it with a simple top. In this case, it's the turtleneck. It's very comfortable and stylish, too. We can make a video about how to make such a turtleneck using our 10 measurements method. It's very easy and doesn't take much time. So if you want to make such a turtleneck with us in our channel, write it in the comments and we will tell you about it. To be honest, I can look at the skirt and touch it endlessly, but the cameraman says it's time to go. I think you can make a skirt like this yourself and you too will admire it at home and think what a good job you've done. That's the end of our today's video. This has been the Global Fashion Workshop channel. All the best from Olga Paukste and the rest of our team. Subscribe to our channel, like and comment. Until next time.